dear viewer, I hope this finds you well, in good spirit, and having a good day. Uh, I'm Moadib that made the 7-7 Ripple Effect film. Elizabeth was knowingly and willingly with malice aforethought crowned on a fake coronation stone in 1953, all of which I can prove in minute detail. And that uh, she has broken her coronation oath, which is a contract with the British people. And she's broken it thousands and thousands of times. The very first time she broke her coronation oath, then the contract with the British people was broken. And her, that, that means that she was no longer the monarch, lawfully, with immediate effect. And so she's been masquerading as the rightful monarch for the last 58 years. And um, the judge, in his decision, he said that uh, the coronation stone was only a ceremonial uh, artifact and that, that it, it didn't really matter law legally and so that she was the queen and so he had jurisdiction to put me on trial and he would put me on trial the very next day which is what he did and uh, he never mentioned the second part of my challenge which was a uh, breach of contract mm. because he absolutely knew that he could not argue against it what was the breach of contract um, part sorry is the fact that she's broken her coronation oath. Not only has she broken her coronation oath, she has broken the law numerous yeah. times, has proved herself to be a traitor to the British people. Mm -hmm. uh, the signing of the Lisbon Treaty and the handing over of British sovereign sovereignty to Europe rankles with a large swathe of the public. Which of is, course. Obviously, she's been complicit in that. Yes. by putting her name to that and allowing yeah. that to happen. Yes, absolutely. Mm. And at her coronation, part of the oath that she swore was that she would maintain the laws of God to the utmost, to the utmost of her power. And she hasn't done that. She has, in fact, broken God's laws repeatedly, thousands and thousands of times, mm. including signing our sovereignty over to the uh, to the EU. Has which our is sovereignty which been is actually handed treated. over? Sorry? Has our sovereignty been signed over? Yes, because the EU court now is superior to any court in Britain. With and, the and our laws are dictated to us now by Europe. Mm -hmm. Would the Freeman movement um, agree with that? Do you think? Um, I don't really know. The, uh, the, the Freeman movement, or at least the sections of it that I've, uh, I've looked into, they all seem to love Elizabeth and think that she's been betrayed <laughs> by her ministers. But that isn't true because she is the head of parliament. She has the power, the, the reserve powers, the royal prerogative to dismiss the prime minister and the parliament. So who is the boss, mm. prime minister or the queen? The Prime Minister cannot dismiss the Queen, but the Queen can dismiss the Prime Minister. That tells you who's it really It does put rather a large onus, I would say, of responsibility on the shoulders of one woman, who's after all just a, a human being like the rest of us. Um, possibly the British public would have difficulty in putting all the blame on her when she's surrounded by all these um, people who should know better themselves. So mm -hmm. this is a point we've been arguing. And the, uh, with the British... Yeah, the, the British Constitution Group and the UK column and those people. Um, I contacted them some, quite some time ago and asked them to get involved and, and to help me uh, to, to get the word out to the British public. And uh, they all told me they loved Elizabeth. So uh, I would take a slight issue with what Belinda says because I don't think for one moment... No, I'm just saying no, what, what no, some people said. Yeah, yeah. I know, I yes. know. I don't think for one moment that Elizabeth thinks she's just a normal human being like the rest of us. 